Hey guys, it's Lipstick Nick, Morphe's Director of Global Artistry, and today I'm in Studio Morphe with the amazing Samuel Ray. Oh. So I actually met Samuel when I was casting for Pout Beauty Bar, and I came across his work, he applied, and it was just mind-blowing. There's one specific picture that you did. It's so good, it was your Lucky Charms image. Yes. Yeah. It just, I don't know why that, and maybe just because I love Lucky Charms, I don't know what it is, but. Same girl, very food-inspired, always, <laughs> it's very my food inspired. <laughs> But I absolutely loved it, and I just fell in love with your work, and now having you part of my team, it was only right to bring you in with your artistry for this amazing palette that we're gonna be playing with today. It's the 35 03. It's the Fierce by Nature palette. Let's show the people. So this is part three of our 35 series. So beautiful. And the pop of green in the middle of the palette too. It like just complements it so well. Exactly. Perfect. I'm super excited because obviously I love red um, and I love green. It's actually my favorite color, neon green, but I don't want to tell anybody that because I don't want anyone to ever buy me anything neon green, you know? Oh, so I just oh said that it's red, oh so that's my actual secret favorite color. I think I'm gonna recreate one of the campaign images that I did for this palette, and I'm excited to see kind of what your brain comes up with with this palette. I'm excited to see what I come up with too, because yeah. I have no idea yet. We're gonna just freestyle. <laughs> We're gonna figure it out. <laughs> That's how it usually goes with me, girl. If you guys wanna watch the looks that we create with this palette, then keep on watching. So I'm gonna base out my eye with a little concealer, a little Morphe concealer. Gorgeous. I'm just gonna go for Ooh. it. <laughs> I'm just gonna go Where for are you it. Gonna start? <laughs> I'm too excited. Oh, he's going with the orange. Oh, yeah. Okay. Good old um, subtle transition shade. Yeah, super Neon subtle. Orange. <laughs> <laughs> this look was one of my favorites in the campaign because I just did something kind of different with mm -hmm. like the cut crease. So I'm gonna go in with like a smaller brush. Yeah, I'm using a little 506. And it's always so funny because like when I go into a campaign, like sometimes I have an idea of what I wanna do, but until I actually see the product and the model and the wardrobe and everything, right. I'm like, okay, this needs to be more intense or like, okay, maybe I'll like diffuse the eyeshadow a little bit more and like not make it so, um, you know, cut or like angular. For sure. So it's just always kind of different. But this one, I had so much fun with this. And like for you, obviously, like being on YouTube and like an influencer yourself, like how do you get inspiration for all of your looks that you do? Because they're so intricate. Uh -huh. It seems like you really think it out. Do you draw it first? Like what's your process? I do actually have face charts. I do plan out my looks Ooh. on. I mean, you don't want to just like wing a look all the time, you know? Yeah, yeah. I mean, I know that you can, girl, but I mean. Well, but some, I mean, always... it's nice to have a plan. Like it's nice to have a plan and just kind of know like what you want to do so that you can then play, but. Yeah, for sure. I used to do face charts for everything. Like anytime I would do like a wedding or a bride. And even if you don't have a face chart, you can still kind of sketch it out just so you can get a vibe for mm. like what you want to do and just have some sort of plan before you start. Where are we going after this? Cause we're about to look so beat. We are. <laughs> like, Honestly like, though. These are looks like. Oh my gosh. Where are we going? So I'm going to go in and do my little cut crease with the jet liner. That's one of my faves. Yeah, I'm see. doing some things over here. <laughs> We're doing some things. <gasps> okay. We're making the little cut. It's actually not a little cut. It's huge. I was gonna it's say, very defined. It's little for you though. It's yeah. <laughs> it's subtle for you. This is like subtle. Do you love doing makeup on people more or on yourself? I honestly love it equally, but I honestly think that doing other people's makeup is fun as well because you get to kind of transform them and kind of see their reactions when they see themselves for the first time in the mirror, you know? It's like, yes. it really is like a, a boost of confidence every time they see themselves, you know? What about you? Because I know that you have a lot of clients that you work on. <laughs> uh, you know, I love doing it on other people, but I think like, I, I do enjoy doing it with me because like that's what, like how I started. It's just like my, my me time when I can just relax and, you know, there's no pressure, there's no Zen like timeline. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's just kind of like whatever, it's, I'm on my time. And I just kind of like, that's how I fell in love with it. So I like to kind of go back to that all the time, but I totally, obviously that's why, you know, we both love doing makeup is you want to make people feel like the best version of themselves and, for sure. you know, make them feel fierce. And I love that this palette's name is Fierce by Nature. I think that's so cute. When they were just like, showed me that, I was like, I love it. That's the first word I think of too when I see this palette it's too. It's fierce. It so in your face, I love it. I always like to ask like people this, especially like before I do their makeup, I'm like, what makes you feel fierce? They feel fierce in a wing or if they feel fierce in a smoky eye yeah. or their, that power look, but like what what do you feel most fierce in? I feel most fierce with a, a pops of color. I feel most beautiful whenever I know that like I spent the time and I spent the, I, I, I use the colors that I want. When you know you look good, like 
Yeah, you're like, you, like no one you're, can stop me. You're yeah, you're unbreakable for the rest of the day. Okay, so do you usually work one eye complete, one eye complete, or go back and forth, back and go forth? Go back and forth, back and forth. I don't see how people can go, can, can do one eye. I don't know either, but you know who does James? James can do one he whole does. eye. I'm like, what the heck? I thought boy do it. Yeah, because I think from a creative standpoint, I think it makes sense sometimes whenever like you're, you're planning out a look, like you're kind of like designing the look on this side, but I can't yep. like remember what shit. I'm just, I have such a horrible memory. This I get it. Down to. <laughs> I'm always like under the gun with like time. So I'm always like, gotta go fast. So I like have to just mirror it like on each side. Mm -hmm. But it is kind of fun like to just play and just do one eye. I want to know like a little bit more about you and like your growing up and how do you think you became like the same you are today? Honestly, no clue. <laughs> I'm talking like, <laughs> I just moved to LA um, about six months ago. So with me being me in such a, such a small town, um, there wasn't really anybody like me and it was really hard to uh, kind of embrace myself and with, you know, I mean, everyone has their own paths, but uh, everyone having like cowboy hats and cowboy boots. <laughs> right, you're like, this is not my path. It's but... not. Uh, it's, <laughs> Great, but it's not what I was really representing in the hallways of the small town Missouri, you know? Right. Where, so, where are you from again? What what city? I'm from Kansas City. Kansas City. I'm from city. Kansas City. Like a small suburb, but like an hour away from downtown is where okay. I live. Yeah. Why did you choose to come to LA? Because of exactly what I'm doing now. Just, yeah. just to accomplish what I've already accomplished so far, which is like absolutely crazy. Again, only six months out here and I'm like, how the hell am I, I can't believe that. You? Like what? Like, <laughs> I uh, can't believe. And how are we loving our looks? Are you into it? I'm like, into it. I'm gonna pat green all over the inner corner. Okay. And then pop in the, the lid in the inner corner in a second. Okay, I'm gonna smoke it out. When in doubt, smoke it out. Is the A right here? The mm -hmm. A. <laughs> mm -hmm. And I'm just gonna take this right here on the lower lash line. I'm gonna pop. Yeah. What's your favorite color? Favorite color is lime green. Believe it or not, oh my, my room, God. I like literally show you pictures on my phone right now. My my room before I moved to LA is all lime green. Stop. Yep. Ooh. Damn. She, <laughs> she is, is green. <laughs> well, we're all done with our eyes. Finally. I, yes, it looks oh. so good. I love it. I love what you did with the smoked out like oh, kind of moment, and then you. mine's like a little bit more like graphic. More edgy. It's yes. A little more edgy. Um, should we lip it? I think so. Okay, let's, let's get into it. it. So we're gonna use your. I know you're gonna use a liquid lipstick. What's the lips, liquid lipstick? This is the uh, the Morphe Matte Liquid Lipstick in the shade of Peanut. Ooh, right here. I love that one. And I'm gonna use a little J Star Mini. This is mannequin, and I'm gonna probably line it with something darker. And then this palette actually comes with a new five piece lip gloss collection, and the colors are super pretty. They kind of go in line with the palette. They're like peachy and shimmery. Um, there's like some neutral kind of tones in there, golds, and then some really bright pops. Okay, this one's gorgeous. It's like, it's called, oh yeah. Oh yeah, that was oh, my yeah. reaction to it. Oh yeah, girl, look at <laughs> that. That was your reaction. And mine is Sass Act. This is really pretty nude and it's like kind of a goldy gloss. So we use this as a topper. Do you like to line your lips first or? Not the pencil usually. Really? No, I don't. I usually line it with like a lip brush or like the lip applicator. Okay. Like with a matte liquid lip first. Wow. Yeah, I never use lip liner. I used to feel like, well, I don't need that. And then now I like, I'm obsessed with it. Obsessed. I don't know if it's just a phase of my life, but. Should I get into it? Sure, get into Should it. Should I snag one? Okay, let's try this. Yeah, okay, one. let me see one that goes with your. So actually, I will be using a pencil. Just kidding. Fun. <laughs> let's see how this works. I like them because it's like, it still makes my lips feel like soft and pillowy. Ooh, that's pretty. Let me see that. Oh God, so good. That's beautiful. <sighs> All right, and now applying Aya oh yeah onto the top of the matte liquid lip I just put on. Ooh, oh yeah. <laughs> so Literally good, I get it now, <laughs> I get it. And last step. Mm. Uh -huh. Will you hit me with that too? Of course, baby, you ready? I'm ready. Mm. Uh, we look good. We look so good. Like, like no what? offense, but we look <laughs> fierce. <laughs> I love it. I love your whole vibe. Thank you. It's so warm. Yes. It's, it's fall. It makes me like feel like it's fall. Very fall. It's very perfect timing for this pop to come out, especially. It's so gorgeous. I uh, love it. I'm obsessed. Absolutely well, obsessed. You we freaking slayed it. Well, thank you so much for joining me of today. Are you and kidding? Um, and if you guys want to see more of Samuel here on our YouTube, then let us know down below. Um, we'll include all of your links, of course. And thank you guys so much for watching us create these fierce by nature looks using the new 3503 palette. And we want to see all of the looks you guys create using this palette. So make sure you hashtag Morphe Babe so we can check it out. See you guys later. Bye, guys. Bye. <laughs>